Well, guys, this is a video log update. Um, I just got new shoes, as you can see here. <laughs> that, that's kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> but you probably don't care much about that, do you guys? Well, the Chris Ridgeway show is due out in October. So there's that. It's going to be in October, but I don't know. I mean, episode one is going to be Darkhawk, reviewing the Darkhawk comic. And I've already released part one of it, but the editing's really choppy because, let's just get this out of the way, the editing process has been hell. First, I have this shitty flip video camera that I'm using, which is just really awful. I'm telling you, it's not fun to work with. You have to convert the footage because it uses some obscure version of MP4 with this weird audio format, and it's just a pain. And then it leaves a watermark in the middle. Then on top of that, I lost the footage because of some glitch with Sony Vegas. So I had it, but I, I had to I had to work around and I got lucky to get the footage at all. Let alone that the editing was... It was thrown out of the water. It wasn't originally edited that bad. It kind of happened that way. Uh, I'm lucky I got part one of episode one out at all. It would have all been in one video, but you know... It happened the way it happened. I'll release part two if I can get myself to convince myself to finish editing after all the hell I went through with that episode. I'm gonna have to, I guess. Episode two is going to be Martian successor Nadesco, which is an anime, and Nadesco is just the Nadesco is one of my favorite anime. It, it's really exciting. It really is. The ending upset me, and I'll get into that in my review. Um, somewhere down the line, I'm going to review Zone of the Enders, the second runner. That's gonna be a lot of fun. I don't know where exactly. I do know that episode 3 is going to be a video game review of some sort, though. And I have my uh, evil counterpart character ready to do for this. And I'm going to have some skits. So that's going to be good. And you're going to see my evil clone. And uh, that's probably going to be with a review of some sort of horror game. I'm thinking maybe Silent Hill, but I'm not sure yet. And there's a big overarching sort of skit plot. Like we, what you see on that guy with the glasses and blistered thumbs. It's going to be like that. I'm going to have them all, all my reviews are going to sort of now and then pop into this skit thing. But I'm also going to do legitimate reviews, too, of course. I'm not just going to randomly shout about what I do or don't like about something. I'm going to review whatever I feel like from those genres, whether they be American comic books, video games, movies, or, uh, or anime and manga. I uh, just whatever I feel like reviewing at the time, whether it be stuff I've already owned or stuff that's new, such as you know I might I'm definitely going to cover Naruto at some point, but I I'm also going to be recovering uh, or reviewing I should say um, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. This is the regular Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I'm definitely going to get into that and uh, just a lot of stuff down the line. But really, when it comes right down to it. I'm going to have to see if, if I want to do this or not. I really do, you would think, because every day... Let me tell you a story. When I first started watching The Nostalgia Critic and The Angry Video Game Nerd before that, and now I watch Link Aura all the time. No real way of hiding it when you look at episode one. But, um... I was inspired by them. But it was because I was already like what they were showing. Now, these might have been characters and exaggerations and stuff, but when it comes right down to it, they acted like I, excuse me, like they do. They, the way they acted, that's how I act in real life. I mean, I'm seeing them shouting at the screen and saying, explain movie, explain, and, and all this stuff, and I'm just like, wow, they act just like I do. I'm kind of like a critic, but also a reviewer. I'm not just a critic. I don't just nitpick. I like to look at the good, too. So I'm a bit of a balance, though probably leaning more towards critic than reviewer, so for what that's worth. But they do a lot of what I do, and that made me really want to do it, and I've been wanting to do this for years. And then I got lucky, because then I got to be on Blistered Thumbs as a moderator, and before that, I was on the BT Community Podcast, and thank you, Austin. I, I d thank you for inviting me and all the people that you've invited to be on the podcast. We really appreciate it. I mean, it's good that I got to get my voice out there. I, I, I'm eternally grateful. And, uh, I want to be a reviewer. I just hate editing. That's the problem. I like to be a voice actor, too, and get into voice acting, but, uh... I, like, totally don't like doing editing, man!
You know, it's just not fun. Ah, oh, don't be a baby. Anyway, so that's that's pretty much how it is for me. Uh, sorry if I stare off into space. I'm autistic, so uh, yeah, not much of an excuse, but it's true. Uh, I just got my video capture card, which Review Tech USA suggested it on their on their video, so I got it. The Roxio game capture card. So that's that's really awesome. I'm gonna be using this baby soon to record my video game reviews, along with the flip camera, which just sucks. But whatever, do what you gotta do. So I guess that's about it, really. I mean, I want to work on my antithesis superhero radio drama series. I'm trying to find an animator because I want to get it animated. Um, so it's kind of on hold for now. So there's only one episode out. I'm also in Gundam Wing Abridged by. Uh, Knucklehead Tori. She's a good friend of mine, and I, I, I can't wait. You guys gotta see that. I play as Hiro Yui and Duo Maxwell, and I'm excited for both characters. I really... When it comes right down to it, the, the Wing Zero Custom and the Wing Gundams are just really awesome, and so is the character of Duo, who has the Death Scythe. Those characters are just so distinct, so exciting. Gundam Wing is like... You hear the theme, and you just... Ooh, you get chills, you know? And, I, that to me, Zone of the Enders is what a Gundam video game should be like. But I'll get into that later. Point is, that's the stuff I got down the line. Is Gundam Wing Abridged. I'm still in Trinity Blood Abridged. I'm in Naruto Ship... Trinity Blood Abridged, I'm both Radu, which is this vampire guy with green green hair and a turban. And he's Japanese, I don't know, go with it. And, uh... And, uh, I also play the, the villain, the main villain, Kane in that. And then in Naruto Shippuden Abridged, I play Kisami, who's this fish dude, and I play, uh, uh, Kabuto. Kabuto is this, uh, he, he's got glasses, and you, you probably know it if you've seen it, and I also play as Hinata. I know! It's kinda weird, but it's true. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's kinda what I got going down the line, is the Chris Ridgway show and all that. And Antithesis, which, you know, is on hold for now, but I'm still working on the script. I'm also working on a comic book series called uh, Nova 619. I'm one of the writers, and I've been working on that. Um, I'm hoping to get no Nova Shi'ar Labyrinth off the ground. It started with a demo. We have a playable demo, but, uh, well, I, I haven't released it to the public. I'm not sure if I should, but... I really want to finish that game. It's kind of cool, and I was the, uh, I actually called the director, and I had a developer I was working on with, on that game, but it didn't really, it didn't get that far. It kind of has like a Mega Man feel with the platformer level, and then a side-scrolling shooter feel for the flying space stage. Um, so it's a shooter and a platformer, but it didn't really, didn't get as far as I would have liked. Um, I guess that's about it, really. Just, uh, you know, well, that's it. Uh, so I guess that's that's all I really have to say with my update today. Uh, hope I didn't talk to you guys to death. I talk a lot. You'll you'll get used to it. I'm I'm kind of a nutcase though, and I can make things fun. So just enjoy it. Don't know where that came from. See ya.